the same guy asked for a nickname who asked about the sound. So, I apologize. I'm gonna name this guy after you. Eventually. Okay, so the D has to be a capital D. My bad. We gotta get this correct in grammar and everything else as well. Did I just do a typo? Oh no. What's up YouTube? This is Lord Potato Llama Gaming back with Pokemon Fire Red Extremely Randomized Nuzlocke. Is this a secret item? It is! I just saw that! I saw a little shadow here look like an odd piece of grass or something and it's a secret hidden item. I'll have to remember that next time. But, like I was saying, we're back with more Fire Red Extremely Randomized Nuzlocke. As you can see, the team is fully leveled up. Violet Ace the Tank with 111 HP. And... Despite none of our team being able to evolve, I have high hopes for the future. 64 for offensive stats on Violet Ace, 42 special offense, 24 defense, 24 speed. Very, very nice stats. We got Maddie with Poison Point, 66 speed, 29 special defense, 27 special attack, 61 defense, and 80 attack. Beautiful. And then, oh, excuse me. That was more of a mist than an actual burp. We got Tatsu, level 30, not level 36, level 24, attack is 36. I'm looking at the wrong stuff. It has, she has 70 HP, 25 defense, 90 special attack, 45 speed, 72 special defense with speed boost, unbelievably. And in today's episode, my goal is to get through Mount Moon and get us yet another encounter. We have running shoes now, so there's really no use for the speed up button, thank goodness. And there is a skip loom right there. Awesome! So here's what we're gonna do. It, it used Sandstream, that doesn't affect us. It didn't use it, just an ability. What am I saying? Just get it out of here, I don't want to see its face around these parts no more. And I'm gonna be skipping over trainers, so that... I, we don't need the training, guys. We just gotta get through this cave. I'm hype. I'm energized. I took like three 30 minute naps spread. I can't speak. I took three 30 minute naps uh, spread sporadically throughout the day today. I had some mac and cheese with some good seasoning for lunch instead of just PB and J. I have some uh, trail mix to my left with a Coca Cola. And some coffee. I am energized, ready to go. We don't need any of these encounters, but we want to get all the items we possibly can to see if they're going to put us ahead of the game or not. Ah. Now, in this episode, I could make it nice and long, but I don't want to. I want you guys to be able to enjoy the episodes for what they are. And I want the episodes to be short-ish, so that you can actually go through and watch them all in one sitting. Now, comment in the comments down below two things for me. We got a guard spec, that's not too bad, not too good. It just kinda is. I want you guys to comment down below if you want me to make a Poke MMO Best Of. And, if you want me to speed through trainers in here, or if you want me to include them and just have a lot more episodes. Because that's fine by me. How did Dragon Breath miss? How did Dragon Breath miss? Isn't it 100 accuracy? It should be 100 accuracy. How did it miss? It doesn't make any sense. Ugh, whatever. Anyways, trying to avoid these trainers as much as possible. Getting these items. Hopefully another Master Ball. White Herb. That's actually not too bad at all. I'm happy with a White Herb. And here's another one right here. That's Leftovers! Oh my god, I'm glad I looked around. For those of you that don't know, which I assume is none of you, I'm still going to say it anyways in case any new viewers new to Pokemon comes in. Leftovers heals up your Pokemon. 
a little bit each turn. I think it's like 1 16th of their maximum HP is healed every turn. And if we put that on Altaria, it's going to be super nice. Let's go down this way and see what else we can find, though. I want to get all the items because they're randomized. They can be anything. That's an Ammonite Lord Helix for the win. Let's keep going, though. We just got to power through this area. And we can avoid that rocket. That is awesome. That's what I like to see. What is this? A heart scale. I don't know if they have any use in this game. And you guys can probably tell that I'm not using Undertale remixes anymore. Um, I'm using Pokemon background music because I saw in the comments for episode 3 that someone wanted the background music for this. I couldn't put in the background sounds or anything because they were so distorted so randomly, sporadically, and yet somehow also frequently. It just wouldn't work out. So, I'm putting Pokemon music in the background of the Pokemon game. That said, if you guys have suggestions for mixes of Pokemon remixes, I would be happy to hear them. I would be happy to check them out. Because I want to provide you guys with content that you enjoy. I digress! We gotta get through this Mount Moon right here. And I want to face as few trainers as possible because we don't need the experience right now. In grinding, if we save trainers, I can go back and level up our team. And that's an ember. Okay. Not the best. And we got spotted by a Team Rocket guy. We're pulling a big job here. Get lost, kid. Ah. Oh. oh, that's not nice, artist. Artist Florentino. It's Florentino. Why are you trying to kick me out, Florentine? I, I am sorry for anyone who got offended by that, which is probably all of you guys. That was not my intent. I tried as hard as I could. Okay, speed boost. Raises the speed. Dragon breath this man into oblivion. And keep right on going. Tatsu, the god, the legend, the myth. Now, original 151 did put up a stream today, and I actually donate to his streams a lot when I have the funds to. I don't donate much because I can't afford that much, but I like to donate whenever I can. And guys, you have to check out his channel. He is the man that inspired me to make these videos in the first place. He is hilarious. He is energized. I wish I could be as energized as he is on a day-to-day -day basis. I can only handle so much energy a day. And he puts it into 45-minute episodes, and he releases new episodes every day. And he live-streams on top of all of that, which I can only imagine how tired he'd be. I don't know if he's an introvert or not. He does not seem like one. I don't know if he's mentioned in his videos or not, but what I can tell you for a fact is that I'm going to try and bring you guys every day this summer at least more amazing content my summer ends in the beginning days of september by the way which means that i will probably be posting a video at minimum once a week holy shit that's a registeel if only it were shiny let's take whatever you have um which is nothing cool so we got tatsu up to level 25 Beautiful. We're going to be putting Violet Ace out in front. And then we're going to be giving Violet Ace the leftovers. Because Violet Ace has 111 HP and pretty good defenses. And in a different episode, in a past episode, I think it was episode 2, we got a Master Ball. I can't remember if it was 2 or 3, but what I do remember is we got it in the Viridian Woods, or, or Forest, or whatever the correct pronunciation of it is. I gotta get a drink of my pop so I don't get dehydrated. Ah, there we go. Even though it's probably gonna dehydrate me faster than coffee or anything else, especially faster than water. Now, this episode, I had to re-record, because 
there were some technical issues, and they couldn't be helped until now. I got them all fixed. This is going to be the keeper for the future. Let's use a Shadow Ball on this man. See if that can Oko a level 9. It should. It definitely does. Okay, beautiful. Okay. So, I know I'm saying okay a lot. I need to stop. I need to actually say words besides okay for you guys. That's another Marsh Stomp. Ugh. Be gone. I don't want you around here no more. And, uh, guys, there is a very special game that I am going to be playing a normal randomizer for here soon. This extreme randomizer, it's fun as hell, but it's stressful as hell, because I don't know what's coming. The only thing I can do is overlevel my Pokemon, and that's no fun. It takes a long time. Not to mention, it's more exciting when it's dangerous for you guys and for me, but I'm gonna have a heart attack if I do two extreme randomizers in a row. So I gotta chill. Oh no, I didn't. Ah, it's Q every time. Every time I hit A with my fat fingers, I hit Q. My hands are the size. They're, they're massive. It is not alright. Ugh, I have pointy elbows and massive hands. It's an odd combination. I am, I am literally a Gallade with my pointy gosh darn elbows trying to swear less here. I don't know if I sweared in this episode or not yet. If I didn't, I'm proud. And I want you guys to let me know in the comments if there's a game that you want me to play in a playthrough. Let me know. Because I want to make series for you guys that you all in joy and i can't do that without input from you all so please leave a comment down below it's a lot of things i know but leave a comment down below about any series you want leave a comment down below if i get 10 comments saying you want a poke mmo best of clips then i will make a poke mmo best of clips and i will post it and that is all of Poke MMO then, because I have it all saved up. I just need to know if you guys want it or not. Like I said, 10 comments down below, and I'll make it. Let's get back into this using confusion. Not gonna do diddly squat to us, because we're boss like that. Shadow Ball you into nothing? Okay. We got the leftovers, though, so it doesn't really matter what you do to us. Actually, it kind of does. Oh my god, that did nothing. Violet Ace, the true bluck of the team. The ultimate tank. The ultimate Borb. You cannot defeat the Borb. You can only delay the Borb. And when you delay the Borb, the Borb gets unhappy. And when the Borb gets unhappy, you perish with the rest of your kind. Just look at those eyes! Are those eyes of forgiveness? No! They're eyes of war. They've seen some shit. They've seen things you wouldn't think possible. They're not humane. And all it can do is spread destruction and despair. And that's all it has seen. That got impressively dark. I apologize. Probably gonna be the intro moment. But you never know. That was way too high pitched. Where the, f where'd that come from? Now I'm worried. We got the intimidate though, which is very nice. Use what? It outspeeds us. Damn. Well, let's shadow ball this thing. Okay. Super effective. Get out of here, Swablu. Wonderful. That's what I like to see. Is there a secret hidden item in here? Yes! It's an escape rope. Okay. I'm finding all the hidden items. As you know, if you watched the playthrough of Poke Animo with Puffin and I, 
I know I, I'm advertising that way too much right now, but guys, you, if you watch it from the beginning, you'll see how much my editing has changed. And I don't edit this series that much. The most I'll do is cut out long, awkward silences, make a montage of grinding. That's about it. And that's another thing. If you want me to make a grinding montage, comment down below. Hey, Protato, Lord Potato Lama Gaming, Pro, <laughs> Gray, oh god. Not oh god, because that would be too much. And not a burp either. Comment down below, hey! I'd like to see that. I'd love to see that. And I will give it to you, because I want to give you guys what you want. And this Lapras, get out of here! Ah! Alright, using a Gengar, you say. Now, we saw Ammonite, Lazy Antoinette. What is up with the French names? I, I don't have a problem with it, I just think it's kind of funny. Alright, let's try a Shadow Ball on Gengar. I swear, if it's super effective, I'm going to laugh. Ah, oh, it's just neutral. So it's not a ghost type or a normal type. Okay. Violet Ace, level 25 now. Zatu. All right, we'll send in Maddie. Putting in the finest of work right here, right now. Now, Zatu. You gotta give it up, child. And that's right, Maddie learned Fire Punch when we grinded. It has hail. And it lived... A fire punch from an 80 base attack. Zatu must have some gosh darn defense, man. And it's not an ice type, so it literally just gave itself uh, gave itself a death timer. Granted, it was pretty long because it looked like it had a lot of HP, but... Sorry about that. I had to get another drink from my pop. Now, we saw... We saw the presence of Lord Helix earlier on in this episode which means we have no choice but to take the helix fossil and this man is taking the dome fossil lord helix lives on through us all right that's a sun flora that we don't want any of that i mean i loved it when it came out in pokemon crystal when I found out about it. But now? I mean, I could tolerate it, but eh. Oh, it's not very effective? Interesting. Still one-shot it, though. We should probably switch around uh, Violet, Ace, and Maddie so that we get some even training up in here. And then, we found a white flute! If I remember correctly, that increases the chance to encounter wild Pokemon in an area and with that we are free of mount moon's tyranny mm. okay move tutors right here mega kick is the ultimate attack um all right so what move is it covet okay so that's basically a normal type thief uh it depends on how much damage it does if it does like a hundred damage i'll switch it with thief otherwise thief has more type coverage yeah a, l a 15 extra damage same accuracy, five more PP. I don't think it's worth it. I think we're keeping the. T uh, I don't know about. I think we're keeping the type coverage. And I remember the other guy having uh, whatever move that none of our team could learn. What's this? TM15 Mega Horn. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Now we're gonna get this encounter, but first we're gonna stop by the Pokemon Center. And we are going to trade in some items, get some Pokeballs. Why did I say Pokemon Center? We're going to have to go there to heal up. However, we want to go to the Mart first so we don't forget. Um, so we are going to go ahead and sell. We're going to sell... Okay, what are we going to sell? We're going to sell a Sharp Beak. We're going to sell a Guard Spec. We're going to sell White Herb, which we don't need. We're going to sell a Heart Scale. PP up. That gets us a good amount of money. Big Pearl gets us a good amount of money. We don't need a Super Repel because we got a Cleanse Tag. We're going to sell White Flute. 
Um, we're gonna sell Weather Ball because no one's gonna learn that. Ember is base 70. Eh, maybe. We're gonna keep Megahorn too. Wing Attack, we're gonna sell. That's not that good. Facade, not that good. We're gonna sell that. Um, all right. Now we're gonna buy. We're gonna go in. We're gonna get 10 Super Potions. And then we're gonna get, um,. Hmm. We're going to get up to 50 Pokeballs. Because trust me, we're going to need them. Um, if we get poisoned, we want some Antidote, so that's a good thing to have. Get a couple more Super Potions. And... Why not one more Pokeball? There we go. Beautiful! Now... Before we get this encounter, guys, I want to thank you all so much for everything you do. You guys make me want to do this channel. If you're watching right now, you have inspired me beyond belief. Even if one person who I didn't know watches these videos, I would be in shock. But there are multiple people. And I have all my friends who watch these videos too. Guys, we're at 75 subscribers. My goal is to get to 100 by the end of the summer yet again. Please, please help me make that happen. I want this channel to grow. I want this channel to be strong. And I want this channel to have a big, wide community. You guys accept everyone. You guys bring everyone in. And be a good family. Be a happy family. I know... The people that I hang out with, shout out to you guys, my main D&D group, all of you. You guys are beautiful people. You welcome in everyone. You support each other. You guys support me. And I can't thank you enough for that. But that's enough ranting about that. We gotta get this encounter. What's it gonna be? Be something good. That's gonna be a re-encounter because that... Awesome job bringing that up, game. This is the Species Clause. Because I had an Ekans prior. If there's a Golduck or an Ekans, or a Psyduck or an Arbok, I can re-encounter. That's the good thing about this clause in an extremely randomized nose. Like, okay, what's this gonna be? Yo! That ain't half bad. Um, all right, so let's see. Um, I want to see if we have a move that wouldn't kill this. So it's base power 80. So if Tatsu has a physical move, um, Thief would have the lowest chance of killing it. Okay, we'll send in Tatsu. We're going to try a Thief. You know what? No, we're not going to try a Thief. Holy shit. Okay, it has Ice Punch. That's not good, but... First, we're going to try throwing a couple of Pokeballs. Okay? Okay. We don't know what type this is. Maybe we could one-shot it with a Thief. You spit up. All right. Original 151, I doubt you are, because I am not big enough for you to really actively search out my channel, but if this one misses, I need to borrow something from you. I need the power of that song. You gotta just let me borrow this quick. Alright. We're gonna try a netball. We're gonna try the netball! We're, we're gonna try the netball! Okay. We gotta do the jingle. I give you milk and cookies like you're Santa Claus. I give you milk and cookies like you're Santa Claus. I give you milk and cookies. Son of a gun. Maybe you didn't like the netball. We gotta try again. Here's what we're gonna do. We're getting a lot of Pokemon that are already fully evolved. I want some excitement in this. Please, game. Give me a Pokemon that doesn't evolve during our next episode's encounters. All right. Pokeball, go! I give you milk and cookies like a Santa Claus. I give you milk and cookies like a Santa Claus. Why? Jingle, you have to work. Okay. I don't want to forfeit this encounter. Okay, okay, go. Spade boost. 
Um, Pokemon, okay. Okay, we're not gonna do the jingle this time. It shook once. Okay. You know what? I'm just gonna throw a ball. I'm gonna go get some tea. We'll see what happens. Here we go. Getting some tea. Just throw that. I'll be back momentarily. Following Thursday. Are you serious? Ah! Apparently, the, the saying, a washed pot never boils, is too true in our situation. I got some tea. Uh, Lipton green, green tea citrus. I gotta speak correctly, Vegeta. Ah, oh, Vegeta! Tricks are for kids. Okay, we caught Raichu. Thank goodness we caught Raichu. We got a new team member, guys. Welcome into the family. I'm going to go to the comments of last time's episode. I don't remember. It's the same guy asked for a nickname who asked about the sound. So, I apologize. I'm going to name this guy after you. I'm going to name this man, this Raichu, after that person. Let me go check what his name is. The oh, whole boy, this guy, Porky Duck the Raichu. Porky Duck. Woo! Okay, we got Porky Duck. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, so the D has to be a capital D. My bad. We gotta get this correct in grammar and everything else as well did i just do a typo oh no And the name raiders in Lavender Town. Oh no! You had one job! Tater! You had one job, man! <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with me? Uh, I guess we have Porky Dick the Raichu. <laughs> it hurts. Pure dragon type, though. Thick fat. That is nice. That is very nice. 59 attack, 11. I'm glad we didn't hit that thing. It has 11 defense. I'm a 23 special attack, 16 special defense, 19 speed. That attack... That freaking attack. That's like Rampardos levels. Jesus. Okay. And its moves are Spit Up, uh, Water Gun, Fury Swipes, and Ice Punch. Not a bad move set. Not bad at all. Base 50, and it can hit multiple times. That's nice. That is very nice. Okay, and its, and it's attack. Um... Well, <laughs> I'm a fucking moron, guys. Just give me a break. I'll change it when we go to the name raider. I can feel the roasts happening in the comments. It's the fourth episode of the series, and I'm already dying. Welcome to Lord Potato Llama Gaming, my channel. Taters getting upset. Anyway, I gotta wrap it up here. I'm gonna die otherwise. I gotta get some cough drops. Gotta get some tea in my system. Gotta edit this video. Get it out. Set it up for noon Tuesday. Tomorrow, as of the time of this recording, 3.31 p.m. My time. Boom. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's episode, don't forget to comment down below. Comment down below. Question of the day.
What is your favorite champion theme? I'ma tell you right now, mine is with good old Kukui. Kukui's theme brings me so much nostalgia and so much hype. My voice is already breaking up like a mother trucker. I gotta stop soon. Thank you guys yet again. Comment down below. Favorite champion theme. 10 comments for Pokemon MMO best of. And I will make it happen. You guys are amazing. You should feel amazing. You're all beautiful people. Spread the love around. Spread the word. Our goal this summer is 100 subs. And I'm going to do my best to make it happen too. I'd love for you guys to help. You don't have to. It's just... I'd love for you guys to help spread the channel. Anyways, I digress. I sound needy and petty. Let me just wrap it up before Porky Dick kicks my ass. We will see you guys in the next episode.